And then we have the here's, the here's. We have the horns and the ears. It's Joyce and Puffy and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am back home. It is the summer now. I just finished the semester and I moved back to my parents' house. And around August, I'll be moving back in and you'll be seeing a new environment as well. So today, I just wanted to show you guys my new updates for my boba animal, eat a bag. My manufacturer actually finished the sample and I think this is going to be the final sample because I have changed everything that I needed to do, including the printing. I made the eyes bigger and the nose smaller as you guys requested, to look more like the cow from my Fruit Cow Eater by Kickstarter. So here are some photos of the final sample from my manufacturer. And today I will be making new designs for the other animals for this Kickstarter while talking about the Kickstarter that will be launching next month. So this was the final design for the strawberry cow version. As you can see, the eyes are much bigger. And let me just put the manufacturer photo next to it. I think it looks pretty nice. And also the inserts change into a more fluid boba-like thing. Same for the boba on the side pockets. This was the actual design that I sent over. We did end up taking off the secret zipper on the back because I felt like no one was going to use that and also because it will be more affordable for you guys. Also another thing that we didn't end up including was this side key ring part so you can hold keychains. Um, I honestly don't know why my manufacturers didn't do that, but because I didn't notice, that means it probably wasn't important. And besides, you guys can hang the keychains off of the zippers on the side anyway. I don't think that is going to be a problem if you guys want to hang keychains off your backpack. I do also have my logo on the inside. Instead of an embossed logo on the outside of the bag, it's going to be on the inside. It fits my laptop. I have a Mac, a 13-inch laptop. And let's get started on the new designs. Today I wanted to work on a bluish purple version of the bag. I know that is an important colorway to have. So I am making a deer today. Oh, this will have to be a nice purple because I wanted it to be taro. Okay, I'm gonna stick with this. So the best thing about digital art is that you don't have to redraw the entire thing. And for me, I'm, I just need to readjust the colors of the bag as well as the printing. So, okay, I'm gonna stick with a light purple. It's this going to be this one. That will be the color of the side pockets of this bag. I'm not sure if my manufacturer will have purple colored fabric straps for these areas, but the color difference will be slight if there is any. And I don't think it'll matter because even if there is a slight variation, honestly, that will look great because we like more than one shade of purple. So the first thing we're gonna do is use the pencil tool and draw the approximate outline. Then I'm gonna draw a nose, and then a mouth, and then eyebrows. I feel like this whole thing needs to be moved down. And then we have the here's, the here's. We have the horns and the ears that we have from our previous cow. And next, we are going to take our colored pen and trace over that. Okay, perfect. And then we are going to have a brown little nose. I can just do this. And then we're going to draw a mouth. Okay, okay, that's good. Next, we are going to use white and make the eyebrows. And then lastly, we are going to draw the eyes. I really wish I had the eyes from the cow, but it's okay, I can make my own. And now it is time to center everything, especially because it's so hard to get things right because it doesn't really lock in the exact places that you need to have your objects to be in. If it looks good to me, it's good. And lastly, we'll put the blush right here. And now it's time to color everything. Oh, I found the eyes, bro. Even though I worked hard on these, I think this is much more important. So we're gonna take this entire thing we're going to paste it right here. Okay, that's perfect. So now that we got the lines down, it is time to color. And for that, I am just going to fill in, I'm just going to block in all the colors that I need for the deer. And while I do that, I will be telling you guys my plans for the Kickstarter. There are going to be four total animals with four total flavors. But if I end up thinking of another one, I will let you guys know. This is just a tentative schedule. Oh, and I'm also going to do a Shiba and that's going to be a peach. Okay, I got my five. So it's going to be strawberry flavored 
cow, original or house flavored bear, taro flavored deer, peach shiba. And last one is going to be a matcha panda. So that's going to be a little bit different because instead of the side boba cups matching the color of the animal, it's actually just going to be a green matcha with a black panda. And I feel like that matches because panda, bamboo, green. I will be working on more colors after this video. I just want to show you guys the process of making the deer. The strawberry cow sample bag is also coming next week and I might be reviewing that instead. And I also do plan to be making all the rest of the samples at once as soon as possible so we can get that Kickstarter started next month. Oh, I, need, I do need to fix these eyebrows, so I need to shut up and do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you like the deer. Let me know your thoughts on it. I think it's pretty cute, and it's going to be a whole, like, okay, ignore the pink stuff on the outside, but I think this one is going to be pretty cute. I might change these ears to be more pointy to match more of a deer. Oh, this looks so much better for the ears. Well, it's a good thing that I changed it then. Now that looks good, and I'm also going to make it purple. You know, there was a lot of things I could have fixed with this that I just decided to do. Oh, that looks, so, that looks so much better. This looks like an actual deer now, okay? It was looking a little bit off before. I also wanted to let you guys know that I am not doing the zipper pulls anymore. They're actually going to be just gold zippers with a little heart hole in the zipper, and they're gonna be metal. I feel like that's way more sturdy than having a leather type zipper pull. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the Kickstarter. Unfortunately, I won't be doing any more designs because I feel like five is way more than enough. I don't even know if we're gonna hit all five stretch goals. I will be placing them further apart from each other because bigger bags are definitely more expensive to produce compared to the mini bags I had for my first Kickstarter. I'm super excited for these and I hope you guys are excited for them as well. Make sure to smack that like button as hard as I smack Macamon. I will see you guys next week. Bye.